So I recently came up with these two logarithmic equations and just to make it more fun of course I picked different bases and of course at the moment they are exactly the same right so have a look right here for this one we have log base 2 of x and that's equal to log base 3 and I'm just going to put the x right here inside of the log and this plus 1 is on our side but for this right here I'm going to put both the x plus 1 for this logarithm and let me just tell you in fact one of them I do not know how to solve it legitimately of course I know the answers though but anyway, please pause the video and try them first. You did? Good. Let's start with this one. So let's just go ahead and do a change of base formula. And let's use natural log. So for this one, we are going to get ln of x over ln2. And that's equal to this right here is just ln x over ln3 and plus 1. And then right here, I can just move this to the other side and also factor out the ln x. So we get ln x times 1 over ln2 minus 1 over ln3 and that's equal to 1. Then we can just divide this on both sides. So we get ln x being equal to 1 over that, which is 1 over ln2 minus 1 over ln3. And right here we have a little complex fraction. So let's just multiply the top and bottom by ln2 and also ln3 like so. Alright, so that means ln x is going to be this times that we will just have ln3 on the bottom here and then minus ln2 and in fact we can combine it to be ln of 3 over 2 but that will give us a fraction instead of a fraction I'm not a big fan of that so I'm just going to leave it like this and for the top though do not do anything because we cannot do anything with this even though you can put the ln2 to the power here but don't do that just leave it like this ln2 times ln3 and make sure you don't say that's ln6 or ln9 or ln of 17. Don't do any of that. Lastly, we just have to exponentiate both sides, meaning e to this power and e to that power. So, ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to e, and then we have ln2 times ln3 over ln3 minus ln2. So, it's a pretty looking answer, in my opinion. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now, for this one, it's um, a little bit trickier because if we use the same approach, meaning that if we write this as ln x over ln2, thanks to the change of base formula, and this right here is ln of both x plus 1 over ln3. Can we proceed? Yes, this is how. We can purposely look at this as 1 over ln2 times ln x and that's equal to 1 over ln3 times ln of x plus 1 because this way we can put this which is just a number up here to become power likewise let's go ahead and do the same thing here so we get ln x raised to the 1 over x sorry 1 over ln2 power and that's equal to ln of x plus 1 raised to the 1 over ln3 power like so. Mm, now what? Well, yes, we have natural log being equal to a natural log and this is just about real numbers. So that means the input has to be the same because log is a one-to-one -one function. So we can just say this has to be the same as that. And then we get x to the 1 over ln2 power equals x plus 1 raised to the 1 over ln3 power so far so good can we expand it? no you want me to divide this on both sides? okay fine then we are going to get x to the 1 over ln2 power over x plus 1 raised to the 1 over ln3 power and that's equal to 1 oh you want me to subtract instead now huh? nah I'm not gonna do it uh, Lambert W function? no Oh, yeah, I know the answer. What's the answer? X is equal to 2. Yeah, I know it. Why? You put 2 here, log base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. You put 2 here, 2 plus 1 is 3. Log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1. We know the answer. But how do we do it? <laughs> With a systematic approach. I have no idea. Because imagine, what if we change this to like a 5? Right? Then in that case, the answer is not that easy anymore. And yeah. I thought about this 
and I don't know. So if you do know how to solve this equation, uh, let me know, right? That's it.